uh, afternoon YTPT. Hope everyone's okay. It's been a warm one, hasn't it? It still is. So, in the lorry today, air conditioning blasting, but it's not very good air conditioning in that. I can't, can't grumble, because when winter comes, and then I'll be moaning. Mm. So I got it from work, got changed, sweat was dripping off me, conservatory was about a thousand degrees, then we got up to 32 degrees today, so we're touching 19 Fahrenheit. I'm smoking my uh, bones with some Watch City Cigar number no. 7, which is one of the samples Mark sent, very nice. Nice, nice daytime smoke. Oh, this one, it's a, it's a VR for Clay S. Oh, if you've not checked Clay's channel out, check it out. That's Clay space S and then a dot. And is a nice young man. Does some cracking reviews on the very good his cigar reviews. And whiskies. He likes his whiskies. We had a bit of a chat about whiskies the other night together. Which was quite nice. So what Clay's asked for for his giveaway is there's three things. There's what dish as in breakfast, lunch, dinner, tea tea over here. If you not think he might have had it, uh, he could try. A cigar, which you can't get hold of, and a whiskey, which you can't get hold of. So, for my dish recipe, I ain't going to do toad in the hole. Now, that's not a toad in a hole. Uh, I had a look online to see if it, people have it in America and I think some chef in New York did basically egg on toast and call it toad in home and it's not. So toad in the hole originally it's a it's a Yorkshire pudding dish. So I was brought up in seventies so we were still really coming out to the war era after, I mean, rationing wasn't going off then, but it was that way that your grandparents, my grandparents instilled into my parents the way to eat, which was, it was good, wholesome food, home cooked, and you never wasted anything. So on a Sunday, you had your Sunday roast and you had a piece of meat, which was expensive, which carried on into Monday and fed you on Monday. Now I told in the whole nowadays, just has sausages in it, it's toad in the hole. But, all those years ago, it was whatever meat was left over, you threw it in with your batter mixture, and that's what you had on your Monday. And the Yorkshire pudding was a way to fill you up. Now, we have it regular. Mrs. Tucking loves it, and my daughter loves it. It's their favourites. Even though they're not too keen on the sausages, they love the veg it goes with, which you can put with any veg you want, they like peas. Any style of potato you want. So if you want a jacket, we have it with mash. Everyone knows how to do mashed potato, so I'm not going to put a recipe up for mashed potato. And we do eat it very regular, because they really like it. Well, we all like it. Or John all really likes it. So what I'll do, I was going to do it live, I was going to cook it, but this temperature, I ain't cooking in this, and I ain't eating that because it's it's like a hot dinner. It's a it's a wind, it's more of a winter dinner, you know, or cold weather dinner. So, my mum used to cook it. My mum used to cook toad in the hole. We brought up on it. So what I'll do, I'll hopefully be able to amalgamate with that editing thing. Well, I think I'm going to have to pay some money for some of that. 
because it keeps doing it small. So when you're on it, you have to expand it when it's on screen. So, toad in the hole, not the American version with an egg. So at this point, I'm gonna show some pictures and a recipe method. But if you do want to do it, double up on the batter mix because the recipe in there is two eggs, 125 grams of flour and whatever milk. Double it up and you do it in a big grocery dish. So that's the recipe for your clay. Pause. We're back. So, whiskey. I do like a whiskey. But it's getting expensive now, isn't it? I haven't bought any bottle sprays. But, whiskey. What whiskey would you most like? So I'm going to go a bit extreme here. I'm going extreme. Get ready first. And I'll show you a picture of it as well. If I can edit it together right. So, the whiskey is the Macallan. Now, Macallan's a beautiful whiskey. My brother likes Macallan, and he's got quite a range of the different years, and it's lovely. I always like to go for his 18 or 21. So, it's the Macallan, 1926, fine and rare. 60 year old clay. It sold for $1.9 million for one bottle. So, I don't think I'll be getting my hands on any of that deal. <laughs> and, we're going to pause, show a picture. And we're back. Cigar. I do like a cigar. Mark sent me some beautiful ones, oh well see, good man. So, I'm doing the same again, cigar wise. And I'll show a little picture. We're going. Gurkha Royal Courtesan. 1.36 million for one. Ha <laughs> ha, can you imagine smoking that? <laughs> there goes another $300,000. Could retire on 1.36 million. So that's my VR to Clay. I hope that's alright for you, Clay. Great channel, mate. Keep it going. And if you've not subscribed to him, get subscribed. Cheers, guys.